Hi. It's, um, I guess, my yearly check-in. And this year I'm actually going to give you a little bit of uh, my multiple sclerosis history. I was diagnosed in 2008 and at that time um, I had optic neuritis so I was basically blind in my left eye and I wasn't sure what was going on. I, I guess I rarely went to doctors but when you go blind in one of your eyes you tend to go there in a hurry. <laughs> So um, I went there, was diagnosed with that, and at that time the ophthalmologist that I saw at the hospital said, oh, well you have, um, um, he didn't just burst or blurt it out, we uh, had a discussion, he asked for anyone to be around me, uh, if I wanted people there, and he said you have um, an 85% chance of having um, multiple sclerosis and I said okay <laughs> and away we go. Uh, I got over and through the optic neuritis in 10 days and um, I didn't take any pill for that and uh, wasn't really interested in any pills for or any treatments for MS because I just wasn't, it was so new to me that I thought I at least need to try for myself to um, um, sacrifice, sacrifice certain things that I'm eating, the way that I'm um, living my life, see if those things would actually change it. I guess that's just what people do, or a lot of people do. and. Um, the, actually the first thing that I did that I cut from my life was sugar and that was a surprise to me how difficult it would be. I really didn't consider that sugar was that much of a heavy weight in my life but it was pretty pretty serious. I, I guess it, I could see when I went to change my diet, uh, what I had to buy from the grocery store, how difficult it was to find things without sugar, that like, oh, maybe that's why a lot of people don't cut sugar out, because um, the people who manufacture it will make sugar to put it in there, or not make it, but just put sugar into it, even if it doesn't have it originally. So anyway, um, Going from 2008, my diagnosis, uh, wanting to do things um, a different way with, uh, with that, without treatment, I had um, opted to take a couple of nor or nutrition courses and I do have uh, two diplomas from that and it really came in handy on picking out what I would be able to, um, <coughs> sorry, cut out of my diet and um, be okay with without with with not having this, um, and how difficult it would be to just uh, change to a complete uh, vegan diet, which is no meats or anything like that, straight uh, vegetables, and get your protein from your vegetables, which. Um, Quinoa has a lot of that, so don't forget that. Um, anyway, from 2008, my diagnosis, I actually moved uh, with my husband to Norway. That's his home country. So at that time, was smooth. I thought it would be much easier than uh, what, what ended up being, which is... I forgot I need to learn a new language and um, that took quite a toll and is still taking a toll on me. As you can see, I'm doing my video in English. Um, now, uh, 
from 2011, then the next event, I have an events page here. The next event I would say was when I got my tremors, which was in 2012. And that I, I know exactly the day that it happens because it was a, a really, really hot day here. In Norway it doesn't hit the temperatures that it hit that particular day was I believe plus 29 and um, so we had gone out um, to a different city and went outside and it was quite enjoyable uh, it was really sunny I spent a day in the Sun and I was you know searching for a shade at one point because I just it was just an overload of Sun um, the next day I I uh, woke up with tremors that ended up being uh, a little bit too hard to handle because they were um, uh, you know I couldn't it was full body so everything was basically shaking and um, I had to go to hospital and they kept me there for three days to uh, see if they could give me something that would just snap me right out of it and um, unfortunately it decided that you know hey I still have shimmers today so um, that was in 2012 that's actually when I did decide that maybe uh, medication might be an option for me um, uh, just because going full natural I don't think I my body was or in my mind my body my body was not able to snap out of if I had something go go wrong so I went um, to a, a hospital here and had a discussion with neurologists and they had suggested for me um, I guess uh, being diagnosed in 2008, this was four years after, they suggested me to go on to Sabre. Um, at that time, I know that it was a, graded as a second or third level uh, treatment or drug for, for MS, um, but they opted that for me. I did go that route and I stopped. That was, so that began in 2012, so I, and I stopped um, in 2014, so two years later or after. Um, my, I was feeling fine, my MRIs were showing clean, no lesions, and um, my JC virus, I was positive to start before I even began treatment, I was positive, and they were, um, noting that as for month to month, month by month, it was just getting uh, higher. So uh, they decided to take me off of that at that point. Um, and I had heard that if you have JC positive, usually after two years, they say after two years, it can become even more detrimental. So they don't want you to continue at that time at that point. So I was off of my Tassabri. Uh, last one was in 2014, just two years after. And um, then I had about a six month cleanse and I went to uh, back to a neurologist had an MRI and it was showing that I had uh, many active new lesions. So at that point, they offered me the option to go on Lantrada, um, which I did after uh, educating my, uh, my mind onto what this new treatment was gonna be like. And I thought that was just excellent. It was, uh, in my eyes, it would have been the top level of what I could possibly put my body through, and I did that. So I successfully had um, Lemtrada my first year was 2014, 
and and then my second year, obviously the year after, uh, 2016, and right now we're at 2018, so that's um, two years after my last treatment, and um, I would also like to point out that my diagnosis was in 2008, so 2018 right now means that I've had um, MS for, diagnosed MS for 10 years. And, um, <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna do a quick jump back. I don't wanna make this too long because the last one I made was 20 minutes. So, um, with Lemtrada, um, I'd just like to walk you through how I went about uh, finding out what this treatment was gonna be like and searching through YouTube for, uh, I wanted to know what happens after people have been on it. I didn't want to know about the beginning. I wanted to know about the after. After this, someone's been on it for, how are they still? And so that's why I'm just so glad to be able to do this one, which is two years after. And I will be doing a video every year after this. Um, I am walking without a stick and I don't have to touch the wall all the time when I'm walking. It's always nice to touch a wall and have that support you a bit. That's not a bad thing. Um, but I'm not dependent on it. And as well as the walking stick, I just go. Oh, and I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna show you this. Um, and I'm showing you this only because uh, I was talking to my daughter last night and I had a drink of this tea and I I went to drink it and I, I spilled it. I spilled it all just all over. And she said, you need to make a video and show how you are drinking your <laughs> Yeah. So I'm showing and I'm gonna take a drink. I just <sighs> have to build myself up. But uh, this is what I do when I drink. I don't use the mugs because that um, requires uh, this at least I can put both my hands on. I can put one hand on and that's nice, but I'm a little bit unsure about that. So I'll put two hands on um, and just... <laughs> oh. Um, I have to mentally walk myself through the, okay, so that's just how life is now, and if I don't, if I don't stop and think about it, and okay, this is what I'm going to do right now, then things like what happened last night when I was talking to my daughter on Skype, um, I took a drink of tea without really thinking about it, just thinking I could be spontaneous and take a drink, no, so, um, but yeah, that's uh, still have tremors, um, and uh, but I'm walking. I'm just in, I'm just stretching out my legs here from standing and doing this video. But yeah, okay. So um, happy New Year to everyone. This is 2018 now. So let's see how things go. I'll do another video. Uh, like I said, if anything happens in between. This and my next video, I'll stop and I'll make one for you guys. But if not, then I'll make one for my third year anniversary of being finished Lemtrada. <laughs> okay, so, yep. Um, bye. Good luck. If you have questions, write on the comments and I'll check that through and I'll see and, and, um, write you back and and uh, and if you need early information you can go back to my first videos I'm at 14 minutes already you can go back to my first videos and you can see what change it's been for me from then when I first uh, went on to Lemtrada and now when it's just like that's eh, a piece of cake really it's the best decision that I ever made to go through with this and um, 
I kind of regret that I didn't go on treatment earlier, like when I was first diagnosed, but I mean, you do what you need to do. And um, yeah, that's just how it is. So bye, bye, thanks.